madness. Right, now that I've had a chance to get changed into some far more comfortable clothing, I've left the glamorous Simon Emery behind me to come over to the lovely Rubberfords in Worthing. So without further ado, I'll leave Joan back there to conduct yet more sumptuous interviews whilst I'm here talking to the people of Worthing. of a mission tonight. I'm on my way to Rutherford's here in Worthing, but first I thought I'd stop by the assembly, which is kind of a elected for the moment pre-club bar. In here I've met, who have I met? Stuart. And Ali. And uh, how are you two tonight? Yeah, brilliant. I've put a large one tonight, yeah. Hey, we, are you uh, enjoying it here at the assembly? Yeah, yeah, it's good fun, having a good laugh here, yeah. Well, it seems quite a vibrant attitude. I've, I've, I've been here about two minutes so I know nothing about it um, let, elaborate for me tell me what it's all about well down the assembly you're going to have a good night loads of drinks having good fun just enjoying the night before you go clubbing hey, um, where's your uh, preferred place to club club Rutherford's my first place if not Rutherford's desire I used to work here a few years ago when it was independently owned. Um, I've been here in, uh, about a year and a half now, I've been back. Uh, seen quite a few changes, new management have taken over, over over the last few months. See things changing, things are slowly getting where they should be now, you know. Because yeah, you get quite a lot of visitors in Worthing, don't you, summertime? Yeah, yeah, I think you get quite, I'm not from Worthing myself, but I think you do get quite a few down here. And where are you from, given that information? A Southampton boy, mate. A Southampton, a Southampton boy. Yeah, Southampton from your good self. Excellent. Mark, thanks very much. Um, well, there you go. And, I mean, get down here on a Friday, because it's buy one, get one free, or so I'm told. I haven't had a chance to enjoy the pleasure of this offer yet, but I'm sure I will do. And you know what I'm drinking. I'm talking now to Gareth J. Knight. Is that right? That's right, yeah. You are the light jock here at Rutherford in Worth. Yeah, I've been here about five years. You've been here for five years, five years. really? Five good years? Yeah, five very good years, yeah. Very good years? Very good. Superb. How have you seen it change in five years? Massively, yeah. I mean, um, some sort of attitude and that's changed in here. People have changed, people have grown up. I mean, when I first started, all my school friends were down here, and now they're all married with kids and babies and stuff and mortgages, which is scary. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it still remained the same. It's still a commercial venue, but yeah, it's, it's been good. I do have a day job. I actually work for a light and sound company called Showtech in, uh, in Shoreham. We uh, actually put the light rig in here, but it was well before I started. And how do you, how do you find that working for you right now? It's very tiring, but there's such different jobs. It, it can keep you going through the, you know, you, you work hard during the day, you have Rutherford to look forward to at night. It's, it's almost an unwind, even though you are working at the same time. Best of both worlds, because you get to club and you get paid for it and you're not spending the money on the booze. So it's quite a good little job. Excellent. All right, well, Gareth. Um, good luck for the future, which wherever it may lie. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. And without further ado, I feel the need to go and dance. Coming to join me? over to Time and Envy, have a word with Joan, see how she's getting on. Dance Music Television, it's Club Life. Um, I got in at about 7 o'clock this morning, I was working in London last night. Um, 
a two hours sleep because uh, I had to perform a radio show for tonight, do a bit of radio shopping. That was on um, Parafilm, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Parafilm. And yeah. I also I'll do another one up in Brighton called Southern FM as well, which mm -hmm. I do seven to nine before Power Show, so I'll do that one as well. Um, and then, yeah, got to the car, drove down, did the shows. So you've yeah. driven down from. Right. What are you driving? Uh, Citroën Zara BTS. Mm -hmm. So not a Porsche Boxster? Not yet. Audi TT. Audi TT. Audi TT. Audi TT. That's the car at the moment, really, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And Paul, really. oh, you've made your name at Cream. Mm -hmm. Tell us a bit about how, how you got your name, because it's a rather large name at the moment, isn't it? Um, Paul. It was a bit of a lucky... Yeah. <laughs> that is to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was a bit of a lucky break, really. Um, I've been DJing Bright for a long time. I've been DJing for like 12 years now, but um, about... Um, Three years ago, no, two years ago, mm -hmm. um, I went in for um, a DJ competition in DJ magazine. Really? And um, got through to the finals of that, one, one into the final, and there was a final at the Scar Club in London. Mm -hmm. um, and two days before the final, I got a phone call from a TV company, which were making a programme, which I found out later on was going to be called Cream, which went out of Sky One. Oh, I saw it. Um, and they started following me around at the at the, um, the finals. I won the final, so I won the national DJ competition. Yeah. And you were how old were you doing this? I was 26. So it's all a case of being quite jammy and quite talented. Well, yeah, well, yeah, well, the thing is, like, you, you spend like a long time <laughs> DJing and whatever, and then it prepares you for a moment like that when it comes sure, along. Sure, the lucky break. Yeah. So Are you still with the girl from that one? Because there was a girl, yeah, you married now? Yeah. Wow. So, uh, yeah, it was quite awkward, wasn't it? I remember watching the series. Well, uh, that's that's down to a bad editing. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, that's the. I she, wasn't, she, weren't, she wasn't too impressed <laughs> when she saw it. Now they basically um, edited it right, to make it sound like a bitch from hell, which was not true at all. It wasn't. You did. You just spent a long time before. Yeah, I've spent. I napa. I've just spent. I napa. I napa. I've just spent. Three, just over three months, resident of the cream in our nap everywhere for a second night. Loads of money. Social white bits. Yeah, that's no. it. That means I'll get my hairy ass out. No, oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> where, sorry, when you're, when you're not in here dancing, where else can we find you? Where are you? Zap in Brighton. Alright, oh, up the road. Zap in Brighton, then. The Zap Club in Brighton. Yeah, Zap Club. Have you got any, uh, between you, have you got any favourite DJs that you like to go and see? A little bit John Kelly. Yeah, yeah. John Judge Jules and John Kelly. Two of my favourites, fellas, well done. Enjoy the rest of your night. But from now, I think it's time to wrap this one. I'm going to dash over and get my glab rags on. Go back and join Joan over at Time and Envy. But in the meanwhile, it's good night from Rutherford's in Worthing. It's love, baby, it's love. Joan, how are you feeling so far? Oh, rocket night, fantastic, brilliant. Now, as beautiful as you are, I'm going to have to budge you out of the way right now for someone just behind me, all right? Okay, right. Over to this gentleman here. Who are you, sir? My name is Sam Damerell, promoter and DJ for Time and Envy. Fantastic. Um, nice. what, what's, what's your job in sale here, Sam? Sorry, where? What's your job entail here, man? Uh, well, I've uh, worked with Amy, doing the promotions and that. Also, do a little bit of DJing now and again down here. So, yeah, all tone and tail. Night like tonight, makes it all worthwhile. Very nice. Sam, how long have you been here? Uh, coming on nearly a year now I've been here, so... Enjoying every minute of it, right? Every, every second of it, mate. Every second. Every Super. second. Sam, thank you very much for your start. All right, man. I'm John Brown, you're watching Club Life, and who are you? Louise. Louise. Um, how are you, Louise? I'm fine, I'm feeling good. She's gorgeous, isn't she? Look at her, she's, she's gorgeous. Look, lovely. Louise, are you a model? No. You should, do, do you think we, you, we, she should be a model? Look, have thumbs up. All right, okay. Now, how do you find Candy Baby here tonight? Sorry, say that again. Candy Baby, Saturday night, how do you find yeah, it's it? It's good, it's good. We come here regular on Saturday night. Okay. Anywhere else you venture out to, or is it just here on a Saturday? Sometimes stay in a guild hall, but we like time on a Saturday. You like time. Is it your music policy, or...? Yeah. Yeah, this is your sound, is it? Any particular favourite tracks, or...? Um, this is the real life. Do you know that one? 
Yeah, Raven Mays. I am very knackered, but I could do with a drink right now. Oh, what a pumping evening. It's quarter to two, and we're about to head home. Are we about to head home? No, we're not. We're about to party. What are you talking about? Well, what a fantastic night. We've got interviews. We've seen DJs. We've seen people kick ass. John, what about it? What about it? There's still loads to come on. On next week's show, we're going to be speaking to uh, quite a few celebrities, more punters, more location reports, more music charts, loads, loads more to come. So make sure you stay tuned. Keep watching MyTV Club Life 2001.